All right, what's up, guys? So today is a big day. We are going to take off the intake manifold, and we are going to dissect the uh, third cylinder here, which is back here. Cylinder one's in the front, but we're going to dissect uh, the two fuel injectors right here. So Corbin thinks that um, that the injector is either clogged or not working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and take off every single piece that ties to the intake manifold. And I'm going to have to take off the oil cooler as well. And then I'm going to have to take off the back uh, uh, front mount intercooler piping back here. So it's going to be a long process for the day for me. So I don't plan on making a full video, but I want to make sure where you, where I'm, wow, that you guys are actually seeing this, where I'm going for troubleshooting the misfire on this. So I got this taken off, the back pipe of the intercooler. I got the oil cooler to, uh, top mount bracket taken off. Uh, I'm going to have to take off the throttle body back here. Uh, I believe this is another PCV hose connection. So this had to get taken off. This connects to your, uh, the vacuum pump, uh, I believe. Connects right here. Take this off. Uh, you got, I'm trying, I'm trying to take this hose off here. You got this connect. Uh, you got to disconnect these two lines that go under the throttle body. I mean, uh, the intake manifold under here. Um, what else? Uh, it, no, I think this should be it. But like I said, once I start, uh, like I said, I still have to remove all these, all these bolts off here too. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys if you have an EGR dually it's a lot easier to work with so I just gotta take this thing off here and then I'll show you guys once I get it up, once I get the back side off All right, so another thing to take off is this throttle this throttle body it's right by the, your master clutch slave cylinder here this is where the clutch cable is at right here so the throttle body is right here I'm just trying to show you guys what needs to be taken off. Throttle bodies right here, your throttle body, uh, your throttle body sensor cable needs to get disconnected. I'm not sure if this needs to get disconnected. I, I keep forgetting. It's been a while since I've taken this thing off. Since I've done, I mean, like I said, I've done the TGV and EGR deletes a year ago. So, but now, now I'm really dissecting the fuel injectors, so... I don't know. Once everything is taken off, I will show you guys the finished product. All right, guys. Got this all done in like, I don't know, 30 minutes. But um, it was a lot of hassling because there's a lot of hoses. These two right here, back in here. Uh, this big hose need to get taken off, which was uh, this one. No, not this one. Um, no, I don't remember. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Uh, you can see how this hose needs to get taken off. Throttle body sensor, EGR deletes if you haven't done it. Um, this is the coolant line that feeds into the intake manifold. So be careful with that. I'm walking on this side. Um, this connected the battery. I uh, disconnected the fuel lines. These two here that go right here. These two are fuel lines. Uh, let me see. Man, this stuff is so freaking dirty. Look at all. Look at this. That's so freaking dirty, I tell you. Um, I don't know. But anyways, um, we're going to dissect the uh, injectors on this side. On three and one over here. That I'm looking at with the flashlight. So stay tuned for that. All right, what's up, guys? So the fuel injector is right here. For some reason, I can't get this damn thing out. So, um, you guys are wondering what this is. This is the the fuel line that goes to the other side here. So. Use a PV blaster. 
So this is the fuel rail. And then these are the electric sensors for the fuel rail. And then you gotta disconnect this side as well. Pull this up. This connects to the high pressure fuel pump line. So it's kind of weird because I pulled off the rail. I don't really see anything. So this is the actual fuel rail on this side. Just want to showcase you guys. Because I'll be honest, I haven't seen any YouTube videos of anybody replacing fuel direct injectors on these FA20 uh, Debrax's motors. So I won't be surprised if I'm the first one doing this on YouTube. But I don't know, man. I just I just can't seem to pull this pull these injectors off. So I'm assuming that I might have to get a special tool to remove these. But I wouldn't be surprised since they're so since they're stuck in there, I would have to like really pry these things open. So we'll see. Alright, so I took off the IBR TGV deletes here. And I have to be honest, the carbon buildup isn't as bad. Um, if you guys remember when I did this last year, I cleaned this up as much as I could. And I've been running full E85 ever since. So, I, so yeah, like I, did, I did a half ass job cleaning it, but I all I did was I sprayed brake cleaner and just wiped it off. But it was like two bottles of brake cleaner, so. But I have to say, not bad at all. But for some reason, I can't take off these uh, injectors. So, I got the fuel rail off of this one. The only thing that I've noticed that's a, that's a big difference from this side to that is that that one doesn't have a rubber outside, like an outside rubber piece here, like how these have it. That's the only one that doesn't have it. So, um, I don't know. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm still talking with Corbin and to see what we can do to take out these injectors so i just don't know what to do at this point because there's really nothing else i can do until until we can take out these injectors and do a pressure test on them but now that's it guys stay tuned i will be making more videos on this so like i said the car still starts up it's just that number three cylinder which is this one number three so that's one that's three and then that's two and then four so that's how it's that's how the firing order is but we're, we're gonna diagnose what's up with soon three here once you figure this out so i lied i figured i'd show you guys what uh, um what i'm trying to finish here got this uh wrist pin or i guess um this pin sits in between the injector and at the and like how this one sits right here. Um, I did spray P P B blaster. I got this off, but man, this thing is not going. I can't even twist it. I can't even turn it. I can't even pull it out. I tried with the rag. I don't want to break it with the pry bar or anything, but I think that's what I'm going to come down to. So we will find out. So stay tuned. All right. So. Guess what? These are easy to pull out. And I accidentally broke this one. And this is cylinder three. So I can't budge any of these two uh these two injectors at all. So gonna replace both these for sure. Clean them out. There is so much uh debris uh chunks of like sand whatever silt so i'm gonna be spraying this down with brake cleaner cleaning the um i'm gonna clean these uh ooh, that's the wrong way to put them in so yeah make sure you're flush so i'm gonna clean these slides too as well and uh yeah that's my day for you guys i just want to let you guys know what i'm up to right now but these two one and two, one and three are coming out, and they're, I'm gonna yank them out with pliers. 
This is such a pain in the butt. Holy crap, I just got, I was just able just to twist this thing. I can't even get this thing to come out. That's how stuck this one is. And this is cylinder three here. This is crazy. Guys, oh, after, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes of hassling with this, check this cylinder three fuel injector. This is cylinder one. So this is cylinder one. And this is cylinder three. Oh my gosh. It was such a pain in the butt to take this thing off. Holy crap. I'm not even going to clean it because I just want to show you guys how dirty this is. Wow. Definitely getting a new one for for one and three. But first, we're going to clean all that dirt. All right, guys. So I just want to give you guys an update. I'm going to order uh, two new injectors for cylinder one and three. Uh, probably a new fuel reel and also... Uh, Maybe a new fuel line uh, to go in uh, that's in the middle here that connects to both the fuel rails. Uh, not for sure yet. And uh, also looking at replacing uh, maybe the the sensors as well. So it's going to be about $1,500 after everything's said and done. Um, just looking just do it on the safe side because I don't want to just get a brand new injector and then just call it a day. So looking at a full uh, a full line of everything on for this for this side, and then later on we'll see if we have to replace cylinder four and two injectors later on. But okay, I just want to make sure that everything is set to go, and then apparently I'm at least said, apparently I'm not done with the retune process, so apparently I got to do more of uh, revisions for Corbin. So. Stay tuned for that. Other than that, that's it, guys. Peace.